Hey, I'm Brandon, and today we are taking a closer look at the Nex X Villiard helmet. So the Villiard helmet is basically the Villateur with an ADV spin on it. So the Villiard is going to be an ADV helmet, it's going to be modular, and it's going to have an internal sun visor. So a lot going on with this particular helmet, but let's start talking about some of the finer details such as the shell itself. This is an X matrix shell. It consists of fiberglass, aramid, carbon fibers in there. And there's also, I want to mention, speaking of carbon fiber, there is a carbon fiber version available, but one thing to keep in mind, the chin itself itself is going to be made up of the X shell material. So the rest of the helmet is going to be carbon fiber in that particular version, but the, again, the chin, that X matrix shell design. Speaking of the shell and the overall design, you're looking at a DOT only helmet. It is four pounds, three ounces in a size medium. So it's certainly going to be on the hefty side of the spectrum there. Most modular helmets and pretty much, uh, you know, any helmet I've handled over four pounds is usually a modular helmet with an internal sun visor, but we have a peak visor included as well. So that's going to add a little bit of additional weight to the helmet. So it does have a little bit of weight to it. It's got some decent functionality, but I will say it's a little bit heavy for me, especially considering this is $590. I wish we could have kept that weight a little bit lower considering this particular price point and the fact that it is DOT only. Now it has a neutral oval internal shape, which means it's gonna be right there in the middle of, you know, between round oval and an intermediate oval. So it's a bit more unique on the internal shape there. Just something to keep in mind. If you're not familiar with what your head shape is, make sure you get your measurements. We've got a lot of details uh, as far as head shape goes and you can always reach out to our customer service team too. They can help guide you in the right direction and figure out what works best for you. Let's talk about some of the ventilation here, right? So right here at the front, this is one thing I don't absolutely love. This is not a vent. It kind of has that ADV kind of dirt style to it. I wish this was all open and it actually had the airflow moving through it. You actually push the bottom of this and it opens up the vent right here on the top. I don't think anyone's going to be getting a lot of airflow moving through that. So personally, don't really love that particular design. You You've got a nice sizable vent at the top of the helmet. Um, that's pretty decent, very easy to open and close with your hand, but wish that was a little bit bigger. And then we do have some exhaust vents here towards the rear. These are a little bit more cumbersome for me, even without a gloved hand. You can see it's a little bit tough to uh, actuate these and open and close them freely uh, without them being a little bit of a, of a pain. So personally, I think a, a little bit more refinement with the ventilation uh, could have been utilized with this particular helmet, maybe on the next iteration there. The internal sun visor itself, that mechanism is right here on this side. That is very easy to manipulate. Um, excuse me, that is very easy to manipulate even with a gloved hand. And I think once you find where it's at right here behind that peak visor, it just becomes muscle memory. That's a no big deal for me there. The other thing I want to throw out, this helmet is actually set up to accommodate their next XCOM system. Um, it's very simple. It goes in that recessed area there. You can see that little door and it's designed to, you know, accept the wiring and move that through the helmet, but very straightforward there. Pretty round design on the overall shell. It looks very rounded. The peak visor cannot be removed, so you can't take this off and actually wear the helmet. You know, a lot of riders I know in the ADV segment, if they're going to be, you know, logging some highway miles, getting to the trail, sometimes they'll pop that peak visor off, throw it in their, uh, you know, tank bag or their tail bag. You can't really do that because it's actually integrated to being able to open and close that chin bar itself and there's not really uh, an easy system to replace this peak visor if you remove it. So just something to keep in mind there. Pin lock ready face shield. The pin lock is not included in the box so that'll be something you'll need to grab separately. And the face shield itself. So it does have a little tab here right at the front but you're going to need two hands to actually lock that in place. You can try the single hand. You can it takes a good bit of pressure. Um, so that feels a little bit cumbersome in my personal opinion. Um, so a little bit more refinement there could have been beneficial. You can see as I tried to use that with one hand, it just popped right out. So you'll probably need two hands lock it right down in place. Working our way into the interior here, let's undo this strap. This is just that ratchet strap system. Um, some people love that, some people not so much. I think it's very simple, it's very straightforward, very easy to utilize, so to each their own. Some people are die-hard double D-ring guys out there, guys and gals I should say. Moving this cheek pad real quick. It takes a little bit of wrestling to get everything out of here. And it's kind of one whole piece. So you can see, taking this out, it's all integrated. 
and then you have to massage the straps right through it. So it's gonna be a little bit of an extra step. One eternity later. You can see here there's a little loop behind that. Just give me a moment here. Just gonna take a second. Many, many minutes later. Really fun. This is really fun on camera. Everybody's looking at me in the studio. It's going really great. <laughs> and we're there. We did it. Look at that. Really great. Don't love that design. I'm never gonna love that. I don't think anyone <laughs> removing the liner is gonna love that. It just feels very cumbersome and a little bit uh, annoying to remove in my personal opinion. Not a big deal. Headliner pops right out. There we go. Very straightforward with the headliner. And then you can see you've got these recessed areas on the inside of the helmet. Little tabs of Velcro there. I wish those channels were a little bit deeper, um, you know, because most of us will probably end up utilizing our own Bluetooth communication systems in this helmet if we don't go with the next XCOM system. And it's not very deep on the inside there. So I think those could have been a little bit deeper, a little bit bigger to accommodate what, you know, the size speakers that we see on a routine basis in the market. Decent channels on the inside. I just think the overall ventilation could have been improved as well, especially uh, at the front there. I don't think a whole lot's gonna get through uh, with that particular vent. So at 590 bucks, I think we could have used a little bit more refinement. Hopefully we'll see that on the next iteration of this particular helmet, but you do have a lot going on. You've got some mounts on the top and on the side for action cameras. You've got a peak visor, you know, that is geared towards the ADV rider out there with an internal sun visor. It is a modular helmet. So there is a lot going on with this particular helmet, but again, a little bit more refinement uh, and I would have been a little bit happier with this particular helmet. But if you're looking looking for more details, click that info button. That'll take you over to the product page. And if you have any additional questions about this particular helmet or any other gear you might be looking at, please don't hesitate to reach out to our customer service team. They're all riders. They'll be more than happy to get you pointing in the right direction. Thanks for hanging out with me for a bit as we take a closer look at the Next X Villiard helmet. I'm Brandon. Keep it pinned.